hot. What is heat? Energy. Heat is a energy. Heat is a energy. Form of energy. When you will felt it or when you will feel cool or hot. When you will feel cool or hot. When you will feel cool or hot. In these days, means summer days, we went outside. We felt very hot. How do you know in a what uh, situations are there in your body? Or what changes in your bodies? How can you feel? Temperature increases. increases. How body knows about it? Our body, our body observing heat. Our body observing heat. That's why we felt very hot. When your body releasing to surroundings, it is releasing to surroundings. You will feel very cold. You will feel very cold. Body means heat outside environment only. Cool of it. Our body changes to the surface. We felt very hot. Okay. Now we will see what is thermal equilibrium. What is thermal equilibrium? Same decrease of hardness or cold is called thermal equilibrium. If you are not feeling either hot or cold, if you are not feeling either hot or cold in your surroundings, then your body is said to be in thermal equilibrium. You are not feeling hot. At the same time, you are not feeling cold. There is no cold, there is no hot. And that situation is called a with the surrounding atmosphere. Similarly, the furniture in the room is in thermal equilibrium with air in the room. So we can say that the furniture and the air in the room are at the same temperature. In room having air, that air having some temperature. For example, 30 degrees. On that room, so much of furniture or materials is there. The materials or furniture also will gain same temperature. That situation is called thermal Heat. What is temperature? You can you differentiate it from heat? Let us find out. Take two glass tumblers and fill one of them with hot water and another cold water. Now take a laboratory thermometer. So the mercury level in it and note it in your book. Keep it in the hot water. So change in the mercury level. Do the reading. What change did you notice in the reading of the thermometer? Means of mercury level. Did the mercury level increase or decrease? Take two glass tumblers. Two glass tumblers and fill, fill one of them with hot water. Hot water from creation only. Another with the cold water. The hot water with cold water thing. The thermometer concentration. Is there same level of food? Mercury? Is there? The hot water? Is raised up. Is raised up. In cold water? Raised up.
Now, place the thermometer in cold water and observe changes in mercury levels. Did the level decrease or increase? In hot water? Increase. In cold water? Decrease. Now, place the thermometer in cold water and observe the change in thermo. Sorry, mercury level. Did the level? Decrease or increase? Decrease. Decrease. We know that bodies in contact achieve thermal equilibrium due to transfer of heat energy. Transfer of heat energy. Heat energy. When you keep the thermometer in hot water, you observe that there is a rising mercury level. This happens because heat got transferred from hotter bodies to colder bodies. Similarly, in the second case, we will observe that mercury level come down, comes down from its initial level because of the transfer of heat from mercury to water. Thus, we define heat as follows. Heat is a form of energy in transistor that flows from bodies at a higher temperature to Bodies at a lower temperature. When you keep thermometer in hot water, thermometer will absorb heat. Then mercury level heats up. Mercury level heats up. When you keep in cool water, thermometer in cool water, thermometer having some energy. So that energy release to Surroundings means water, so it will decrease. Then, simultaneous. Did you understand? So heat is always transferred from where to where? Hotter bodies to colder bodies. Where to where? Heat is a form of energy. Heat is a form of energy. Heat is always trans. Uh, heat is always uh, changed from hot bodies to cold bodies. It is uh, transfer. Heat is transferred from hot bodies to cold bodies. It does not uh, transfer cold bodies to hot bodies. It always transfer hot bodies to hot bodies to the study studies of mercury column of the thermometer indicates the flow of heat between the thermometer liquid and the water has stopped. Thermal equilibrium has been attained between the water and the thermometer liquid. What is the thermometer liquid? Mercury. What is the thermometer liquid? Mercury. Is it uh, metal or non-metal? Non-metal. Mercury is a? Non-metal. No, mercury is a metal. It is a liquid metal. Mercury is a? Liquid metal. Metals having one character means uh, one physical character that is uh, when we heat the metals it will expand. Metals meet a symmetry. Yeah. Expand it. So, thermometer is a transition of food. Heat of the race is a thermometer. And the thermometer is a little bit of 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 a little so, hot water comes in a pool and the heat can observe it. Observe it can expand. Raise it up. Then, temperature is not only 30 degrees. 30 degrees later, it stops. Next, we will have hot water competition. 60 degrees or 70 degrees. So, pre-change. 
equal to 273 kelvins. 0 degree Celsius is equal to 273 kelvins. So, 1 calorie is equal to how many joules? 4.9 joules. Or 4.2 joules. What is the velocity of light? Speed of light? What is the speed of light? 3 to 10 to the power of 8 meter by seconds. Do you know this one? Speed of light. Sunlight. Speed of sunlight is 3 to 10 to the power of 8 meter by seconds. Actually, it is not 3 to 4.98 something. But we can take a round here. What is small g value? Sometimes we take pen now. You are saying, I said the one point, four point one eight joules. One eight means eighteen. Think like that. One eight means eighteen. I said the four point twenty. Four point two joules means four point twenty. Is there any difference? Is there any difference? No. When we take problems, we take 4.2 only, not 4.18. One calorie is equal to 4.18 joules. One calorie is equal to 4.18 joules. No need of exactly value. In physics, nearest value also you can take. So, what is 0 degree Celsius in Kelvins? 273 Kelvins. Okay. How would you convert a degree Celsius to Kelvin? The temperature in Kelvin is equal to 273 plus temperature in degree Celsius. So, here we have some examples. Twenty degree Celsius. Kelvin is equal to 273 plus temperature. For example, 27 degrees Celsius. 27 degrees Celsius. You want to change it to Kelvins. So Kelvins is equal to 273 plus How much? Kelvins. 300 Kelvins. Okay? Kelvin is equal to 273 plus given temperature. Mm -hmm. The for change is 273 mm -hmm. given temperature to add it. Add the 273 for given temperature. Add 273 to the value of temperature in degree Celsius to get the temperature on the Kelvin scale. Temperature measured on Kelvin scale is called absolute temperature. Important for one more question. What is absolute temperature? What is absolute temperature? This is the important underlying question. Temperature measured on Kelvin scale is called absolute temperature. Absolute temperature. Twenty degrees Celsius convert into convert into Kelvins. Convert 
Measuring of hardness or coldness. 